Hello friends, welcome to Adobe Animate video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to create area of circle app or application using Adobe Animate HTML5 canvas and JavaScript. So let's get started. I search for Adobe Animate. Here I have Adobe Animate 2020. I click on it. You can see that Adobe Animate is launched. I say file, new. I select the education category. I select 640 by 480 canvas, frame rate 30, HTML5 canvas, platform type. I say create. You can see that the file is created. I am going to save this file. I say file, save as. I save the file at the desktop. I right click here, say new folder. I name this folder area of circle app. I copy the folder name. I open the folder. I give here file name, same as the folder name, area of circle app. And then I say save. You can see that the file is saved, area of circle app.fla. Next, I say fit in window. Next, I change the stage color to light gray. If I hit control enter, you see our area of circle app is open, right? This is our stage, the canvas 640 by 480 canvas guys. I close it. Next what I do, I go to window menu. I search for components window. So this is our components window guys. In the components window, we find user interface components. We have button, checkbox, label, etc, etc. From this components, I drag the label component. If I hit control enter, you see it is displaying label text. Instead of label text, I want to display here area of circle app. I close it. So what I do, I select this label, go to window menu. I open the component parameters window. Here we have components parameter window guys. In the component parameters window, we can change the parameters of a component. So here it should display area of CIRCLE circle app. I hit enter. If I hit control enter, now it displays area of circle app. You can see that. I want to display this text in a single line. So what I do, I close this, I select this, use the free transform tool and I scale it. If I hit control enter now, you see it is displaying the text in the single line. I close it. Next what I do, I drag one more label. Okay, this label should display the text radius R A D I U S colon. I hit control enter. You see it is displaying radius colon. I close it. I duplicate this label and this label should display the text area of circle colon. If I hit control enter, it is displaying area of circle colon, right? Next, I am going to create here text input field where user can enter the radius and then below we display the area of circle for that radius. For that, I drag text input component here and I place it properly. I say alt drag to duplicate. If I hit control enter, you see we have two text inputs. Here user can enter the value. Here also user can enter the value. I want to disable it. Here you should, user should not enter the value. Okay. So for that, I select this text input and say disabled. If I hit control enter, now what happens? In this text field, user can enter the radius. Here user can't enter any value because it is disabled. We display area of circle in this place. Okay. I close it. Next, I'm going to create buttons. So I drag this button component and I place it properly. And this button text is calculate. I say alt drag to duplicate. And this button is going to display the text reset. If I hit control enter, you can see we have two buttons. One is saying calculate, another one is saying reset. Next, we are going to make it interactive. If I click on the reset button, these two fields should become empty. Like if I enter some value, if I click on the reset button, these two fields should become empty. And if we enter some radius here, and if I click on the calculate, it should calculate the area of circle for that radius. Okay. I close it. Now what I do, I'm going to give the instance name. I select this text field. I give the instance name R A D I U S radius underscore TXT. Using the instance name, we can refer, we can refer this text field in the JavaScript guys. So we can refer any component 
by the instance name in the JavaScript. I am giving this field radius underscore txt and this text field is going to have the name area of circle AOC underscore txt and then this button is going to have instance name calc underscore btn btn means button txt means text field okay I just say here calc calc underscore btn I select this button and I give the instance name reset underscore btn what happens actually is when we hit control enter automatically animate cc generates the html code okay and these fields are going to be html elements and each html element is going to have the id like this is going to have the id radius underscore txt this text field is going to have the id aoc underscore txt id means identification name a unique name to identify the field using the instance name or the id name we can access the controls or these components inside the javascript and make interactive application guys okay that's good now what i do let's add the interactivity to reset button first so i select this button i go to window menu here we have code snippets window i open it in the code snippets window we get predefined codes guys if i open the html5 canvas here we have components inside that we have user interface in the user interface we have events we have button click event we have checkbox clicked event we have get value from any ui control set value of ui control like this we have different events and options to work with these components what i want when i click on the reset button something should happen so what i do i select this button double click on button click event when i double click on button click event you can see that it has opened the actions window in that it, it, it has written some code for us okay i delete the comment the comment i delete this part of the code also now what code it has written you can see here we have hash reset underscore btn hash indicates id value or instance name guys so here it is using the jquery code okay i suggest you people to learn the jquery guys i have video tutorials online you can refer them if you learn jquery you understand these codes still more clearly okay here it is selecting the element which has the instance name or the id reset button on the reset button it is adding the click event what is the meaning of that when we click on reset underscore btn element okay reset underscore btn click function is going to get executed here we have that function guys reset underscore btn click so whatever we write inside this block is going to get executed when we click on the reset button okay now what should happen when we click on the reset button what should happen see if i hit control enter okay if i enter some value here like 2 2 something if i click on reset button it should become empty so these two fields should become empty so what we actually do is we have to set the value of this field and this field to empty so how do we set the value of a control see there is a snippet available you can set a value of ui control using this snippet okay so what i do you see i select this field and then i double click on set value of ui control you can see it has given a code for us it is telling us you should use this code i say control x and i put that code inside this function i delete the comment so what it is telling here see again it is doing the same thing it is using the jquery and selecting the element which has the instance name or the id name radius underscore txt and it is calling the value function okay it's calling the value function on that field using the val function we can set the value guys so here i use pair of double quotations means empty i want to set the empty value okay now again what i do you see this time i select this text field you can clearly see that the text field instance name is aoc area of circle underscore txt right so if i double click on this it has given a code for me i say control x and control v it is selecting the element with the instance name aoc underscore txt and calling the val function on it we want to set the value 
empt so we use pair of double quotations pair of double quotations indicate empty guys now what happens when i click on the reset button reset underscore btn underscore click function will get call it sets the value of both radius underscore txt and aoc underscore txt to empty guys if i hit control enter you see if i enter some value here like 22 i say reset you see the field is empty if i enter some value if i say reset the field is getting empty so we have made this button interactive next we have to make this button interactive if i click on the calculate if i enter some value here if i click on calculate it should display the area of circle here for that radius so what we do for that same steps we follow guys what we have done for this reset button the same way we add the interactivity to calculate button so what i do i select this button see its instance name is calc underscore btn calc underscore btn right so i selected this i want to add a click event on it so i double click on button click event and you can see that it has written a code for us and if you carefully observe what it is doing it is adding a click event on calc underscore btn right here also it is doing same thing click event on reset button here it is adding click event on calcal button when we click on calc underscore btn calc underscore btn click function is called and whatever we write the code here it will get executed okay now what i do here now what i want is i want to get the value of the radius underscore txt control see i save this i hit control enter here i enter the radius if i click on calculate what should happen i want to get the radius value right how to get that value how to get the value to get the value of course we have code snippet see get value from any ui control code snippet is there now i select this field because i want to get the radius value right so i say get value from any ui control it has given a code for me you can see that i say control x and control v here so what we are doing here you can see what it is doing it is selecting the element which has the instance name radius underscore txt that is this this field okay now that is this field and calling dot val here we are just calling the val function right it's just calling the val function if you just call the val function it returns the value if you give here a value something it is going to set the value we are not setting here we are only getting the value we want to get the value of the field which has the instance name radius underscore txt understanding and you can see if i say here alert i am calling the alert function if i hit control enter if i give here value 22 and say calculate see it is showing 22 here in the alert box i say okay i give some other value here 45 calculate see 45 i close this so this code is giving the value of the radius underscore txt text field and also we can see the type of this text field the type of the value it is returning the type of the value it is returning is going to be a string guys if i hit control enter and i say 22 i say calculate you can see it is telling string this 22 is not a number 22 it is returning the value as string guys so when we perform many mathematical calculations the value should be number so it is returning the string 22 it is returning string 22 understanding the val function is returning string 22 we have to convert this string 22 to number how do we do that with the help of number function so we use the number function okay we call the number function inside that we put this code dollar hash radius underscore txt dot val now the number function converts this string 22 into the number 22 guys okay let me show that if i hit control enter if i say 22 and say calculate now it is telling number it's not saying string you can see that okay so we are displaying here type of this value type of the value what we are getting now number okay now we are getting that number we can store that in a variable called as r i have created a variable called as r r means radius okay okay so we are getting the value 
converting it into a number and putting inside r guys understanding next we have to calculate the area of circle to calculate the area of circle i am creating another variable called as aoc equal to in javascript we have an object called as math inside that we have a constant called as pi math dot pi it returns the value of pi guys the formula for area of circle is pi r square to get the pi value we say math dot pi and then i say multiply by in javascript star indicates the multiplication operator so i say multiply by r multiply by r so this is pi r square guys so that's the formula for calculating area of circle okay in this one we are going to get the area of circle guys next we set that area of circle to the area of circle text field so how to set the value we know how to set the value right we call the val function and this is a place we give the value that we want to set and remember area of circle what we are getting here is a number and the val function takes a string so we have to convert this number aoc area of circle to string for that we use the string function guys we use string function now what happens the area of circle number is converted to a string and that string value is going to be the value of our area of circle txt field guys if i hit control enter check out if i give here 2 and say calculate it is giving me 12.5663 a long value it is giving and it is correct value guys i'll show you if i go to google and search for area of circle if i hit enter we'll get a google calculator here you can see the formula for area of circle is pi r square here we give the radius guys if i give radius 2 it is telling the value is 12.57 right the value is 12.57 but here we are getting long value after the decimal point we are getting many digits i want i don't want these many digits i want only two digits after the decimal point i want only two digits so how do we do that how do we get only two digits after the decimal point for that we use one function called as two fixed here area of circle is a number type of value in number we have a function called as two fixed here we give two digits okay if i write two after the decimal point we will be having only two digits guys if i hit control enter now you can see this time if i give two and say calculate it displays 12.57 which is the exact value what we are giving in the what we are getting in the google also if i go to google and say area of circle if i give the radius 2 we are getting 12.57 and what happens if i give 3 it is 28.27 area of circle is 28.27 if i come here and give 3 and say calculate we are getting same value 28.27 so we have successfully created one app which is same as google's area of circle app congratulations guys so i suggest you people to try this i hope you guys have clearly understood if you try it yourself you get more idea if you have any questions please put them in the comment box and if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about adobe animate thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing Thank <laughs> you.